The Coastal Carolina football program continued to receive national recognition from WPDE's YouTube clip on Coach Bennett's press conference telling his story about cats and dogs. As the viral video approaches 700,000 hits, Coastal Carolina received unprecedented media coverage. Coach Bennett was interviewed via telephone during Friday's ESPN Sports Center and was featured in Saturday's New York Times. The cats and dog story saw Coastal football get significant print coverage in the state newspaper, the Charleston Post and Courier, the Charlotte Observer, and the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, to just name a few. Coach Bennett tried to explain the phenomenon earlier this week at his press conference. I'm not real uh, techno technologically smart. I learned a text two years ago. Jill hands me my emails. I write on them, hand them back to her. You know, I can't spend my whole day on that computer. You know what? If you're right behind that computer, you're not doing face-to-face -face communication. But it's where we live in with Facebook and tweeting and and. These cameras, I don't know where that thing go last week. How'd that thing get up out of here and go everywhere like that? Uh, it's in Australia. It's in Germany. My wife talked to somebody in Germany. Coach Bennett learned that not only was cats and dogs a national story, but it had worldwide effects as well. But I got to spend time talking with uh, yesterday uh, sports talk radio out of Australia. And I told him, find us a, a punter over there. You know, y'all play Australian football. If you got a guy that can punt the ball and then rugby with his right foot and rugby to the left with his left foot, he said, Coach, we're going to find you one. We don't have a university that plays football over here, and uh, we're going to try to find you a good punter. How old do you need him to be? I said, I don't know, 18, 19, 20, never gone to college yet. Good character. They were telling me about some older man, and I said, he's got good character. And they said, not really. I said, we don't want him. On this occasion, Bennett was asking his team to have the attribute of a certain kind of canine, a feist dog. I'm going to tell you what a feist can do. Feist get up on a pit bull's neck, pit bull done, pit bull done. Them feist a nasty dog. Kids around the neighborhood don't like that feist when that feist gets in fighting mode because you know what that feist does? He'll bite them kids on the ankle. So what I'm telling you is when you come out here, I don't care how big and pretty you might look, you might be an offensive lineman. Well, you look good in the program. You open the program. I'm 6'5". I weigh 320. I'm 6'5", 320. You got any feist in you, Mo? Diehard Coastal football fans know that Coach Bennett has been telling stories like this for years. To see some of the all-time great Bennett stories, pregame speeches, and press conference moments, log on to the David Bennett Show page at carolinalive.com. Just click on sports and then find the David Bennett Show logo. Time now for our HTC scouting report. Another road trip, Coach, this time to Greensboro, North Carolina, to take on North Carolina a t next Saturday. Uh, North Carolina a t we've been there before. It was a close ball game. They've hired, they hired a coach from Gremlin, and so I'm telling you, they want to be good, and they're, they're already improving. One thing that you talk about a lot when it comes to coaching 18 to 22-year-olds, they are a resilient bunch, and I'm sure they'll be able to move on uh, from losing 59 to nothing. Got to, Rich. Would you quit saying it, please? The game is over. Not bad. The paycheck is uh, hopefully Hunter Yurchek has the paycheck, and we move on. You can't change the past, but you can do something about the future. Coach, best of luck next week. Thank you, Rich. And we will be in Greensboro next week for another road trip edition of the David Bennett Show. All the highlights of the Shauna Clears and North Carolina A&T. We will see you then.